Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and uh, today is Super Shelter Day. Well, for you guys who've been following the channel regularly for the Super Shelter build, we built part of the foundation or the floor of the Super Shelter last time, which is what you're seeing right here covered in the tarp. We covered it in the tarp to make sure it'd be protected from the elements until we get further. Now we have been able to actually build a little bit more of the, uh, it's a four by 13 foot section. And we had, that was from the leftover two by sixes in the plywood that we bought the first episode. If you haven't seen that first episode, you should stop watching right now and go watch this video right here. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new episodes or our daily giveaways. And make sure you smash that notification button so you don't miss anything. Also, we have a new round of our Amazon gift card giveaways and to enter, you need to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. We also pick winners in the very next episode, so if you enter on this particular giveaway, you'll find out who the winner is on the very next episode. And once we go through and actually add 8 by 13 section and combine it with the other section of the floor, that will give us the full perimeter and size of our shelter. And then we're actually going to take the plywood and actually put it on top and paint it to protect it from the coating. Then the next build you see, you're actually going to see the frames and the wall start going up. What are you looking for? I bought one of these. I just need that thin piece. Okay. All right, so we got this whole thing connected. And uh, Chris and I, the boys, Outdoor Mama, all of us got some wedges put in there so we can make sure it's nice and level. Right now, before we actually add the floorboard, we're just uh, my buddy Chris is checking level four, so making sure everything is squared off and good to go. How's it looking, man? Great. Nice. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Line it up, boys. Push it up against the plywood. Make it flush. Good job. All right, so this is pretty straightforward. We've got the, uh, the OSB right here. We're gonna screw this down. We've got to go back and cut a four by four piece. And then we have like a, a one 
by eight piece we have to cut so we're gonna have to cut a one foot strip across one piece and then once we get it screwed all down we're gonna paint it cover it up and we are done for the day All right, guys, so we've had a long day, but this is where we're at. I know it doesn't look like a whole lot, but that was the first time, and we were able to take the rest of the materials that we picked up for the previous video. Like I said, if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check up over here. But we now have the 12 by 13. Now, the cool thing about this setup is, let's say we do get into a survival situation before we get the walls up, we already have a platform, so we can set up tents, uh, canopy shelters, wherever we got to set up, and we're off the ground automatically. Love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the update to the super shelter build and all the progress we've been making. It's a lot of effort, and it's a lot of big, huge labor of love, but we love doing it because we want to show you guys and hopefully give you guys some inspiration outside of the standard bushcrafting super shelters that you see out there. We want to give you guys just modern materials and a modern take on a prepper doing a bug out survival super shelter out in the woods, Texas style.